How's it going everyone? It's Mighty Midget here today. And well today we will be playing some Portal Stories Mel. Ooh. Um for one, I am actually a massive fan of the Portal games. I completed Portal 1 hundreds of times, Portal 2, about the same. Um, and it's only until now, um, with a worthy enough PC, I'm actually now able to go aside and play some of the mods. So, well, without much rambling, I haven't really... I don't really know anything at all about Portal Stories Mal, so um, we shall see what it's all about. Or I shall, because some of you watching this may already know what the hell's going on, and I don't know what the tip during the filming. So, without further ado, um, let's start new. I actually haven't played any of this game at all, so let's see what happens. Because, you know, portals and shit. As I said, I'm a massive portal fan, any Valve game fan, Half-Life, Team Fortress, anything like that, I'm, I'm a massive fan of. So, this should be fun, because I hear this is a very, very good mod for what it is. So, let's have a look at what's going on here. Holy shit, I'm on a train. Look at this. Ain't this wonderful? Tickets everywhere. It's a fucking mess. Is this thing on? Yeah, oh, okay. Hello. <coughs> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's What's Cave Johnson. And boy, do I have something to show you. That's not too shabby. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you, so take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life, even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. Very reminiscent to the beginning You're already into a little Michigan town of... train on the way to Black Mesa. Um, Where are we again? Although I have... No idea. Uh -huh. Okay, so, this town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're riding there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now, though, we're going to put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. Well, at least make it go a bit faster, then I'll enjoy the fucking ride. Is that going to stop there? One of the two. I have no idea. The music's very quiet. Turn it up, Cave. Stick up some parent shell band as well. Then we'll be fucking rocking. But then again, I don't even know the year, so we're gonna have the shell band around. I have no idea. Oh! Bloody more. Alright, you're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. Get off the rails! <coughs> Wait. Chris, get over here. How do you spell station? Okay, think about that for a second. Okay. Does the station have an extra O before no we buy? I'm not gonna lie, though. The voice actor right, is really quite impressive. Pack your things. Absolutely. Because kind of like you're fired! Game. Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. Oh, dear. <clears throat> uh, oh, I can't re record this. <clears throat> no, you can't re record that message, mate. We've got fear. Ah, this looks like my stuff, actually. Yeah, this is extremely reminiscent to the beginning of Half Life 1. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the thing. Oh, loading. That's fine. The long, sullen silence of that loading screen. Shouldn't actually take long at all. Hello, everybody. Now, as I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain. Up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. 
<coughs> last thing we need is to have touch up a dent on the wall because someone was too hands on. Or whether or not it's some sort of uh, aperture science trickery and I'm underground with this lovely night sky. But I can see the moon. I should have portal up to it. I don't think so. I don't think I'm like that about yet. I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. Stop trying to make me sound better. Uh, that's not good. <clears throat> anyway. You just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You all know where to go. Oh, hang on. Oh, I like. Ooh. Oh, that, that's, uh, that's certainly not a problem to be nice. You did say right, right? Or you say left, left? Or you say left, right? It does look comforting, though. Aha! Okay. So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards Ooh, on my beam counters said that's why they invented elevators. Oh, so, so, so uh, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this yeah. elevator to go to our temporary it's offices. Office I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. Oh, fuck you then. I can fucking love it. This is all going very interestingly so far, I must say. I wasn't quite expecting it to actually be this well made. I actually feel like I'm playing a game made by Mel. Another game that I know for sure that I need to actually play would be... Here in Aperture, Black we're always Race. trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're yes, taking on this new project. Yes, when the beam carriers told me not to buy a salt yes, mine with all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. You'll be surprised. Well, Thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the you're fired stamp, oh. I came up with a final solution to that. Fired, if you can't really anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to try make it in the air in the first place? Yeah. I came up with this. It's a big fucking sphere. I've seen one of these before in Portal 2, believe it or not. Introducing the Aperture like Science Innovators Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They Ooh. seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Ah, Plus, ah, we can keep that. building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least ten of these bad boys per shaft. Nine yeah, shafts, shaft. ninety tests. We can test whatever we want to, and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mesa. Black Mesa. Yeah. Those guys can kiss my... Uh, sir, that's being recorded. Anyway, the bean counters oh. cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things, but they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here, but I hire and fire as I please. the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months, so you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests, the Aperture Science Innovators Short-Term Relaxation oh, Vault. Hello! Can I just jump? I'm pretty sure I might have the long, full, springy boots now. Started! I won't find Gladys in there. I said it again, like, third time if I haven't already made it quite clear, I'm a huge Paul fan and I'm just kind of running around in the elevator. We have no heaven shot burn on, because it's fucking laughed. It's just, I'd like to get on at least and get some shit done by the end of, you know, set recording. 89! When you get to the offices, oh, I'll tell you a bit more. Though. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, oh, though. Yeah. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Oh, uh, yeah. An hour, at most, if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry. We've got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Mm -hmm. Who's the winner here? You are. Yeah. Bitch, please. Am I there yet? Seriously? How? I mean, I, I, going down this elevator kind of does give you an idea of the depth that they want to go. What me, to build these testing spheres? Oh, by God! Cutscenes, please! I'm going to be standing in the elevator for the rest of my life. Getting stuck at this bad enough. This looks promising. Ah, this is promising. I think that's bloody marvellous. And the fucking loading screen. Curse you, fucking Johnson Cave. So, 
As I said on the last pre-recorded message, yes. you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for ah. a quick, deep Ooh. sleep. And then you're done. That's, That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll uh, give us the best results. I have no idea what time. But just remember, okay, don't sleep time? too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. Right. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you something. You. Just you follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Yeah, I don't think it is. Don't mind the turrets. Shut They're the fire blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. Uh, crazy Harry. <clears throat> six right, signs, right. boys, disappeared because of him. Yeah. Don't oh, worry, well, those stories won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Harry likes me. Well, Crazy Harry did a shit joke because this chap is facing the wrong way. You poor bastard. Look at you. Well, I must say the turns have come a long way. Cape Johnson shower curtain sailed around 1943. Alright, fine. Jukebox. Wait, why the hell were Crazy Harry stick the bloody turrets there anyway, for God's sake? And you fake them oh, for fuck's sake. Harry, you useless bastard. If you're hearing this message, oh. you're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, this is that right? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. I'd like to then sleep. You're good you know, to go. I'm fine. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. I have a fan. Your lab boys will take care of the rest. Best, best. best. Yeah, a bit of a... Well, let me sleep, Ben. Thank you. Oh, it's a little pretty tough scene. Isn't that lovely? Sleepy, sleepy. Bom. Oh, well, ain't that welcoming? Actually, I don't even know if I'm a male or a female character. Off to sleep. Damn, Cave, where did you put in this capsule? Cyanide? Fucking. Rehypno? I don't fucking know. You put something in there to put me in sleep. Sorry if that was a very dark joke. Oh, hello. I hear sirens. Oh dear. That doesn't sound particularly good. Hmm. That sounds rather terrible. Then that's all black again. Is this where everything goes fucked up? Is this where I meet Gordon Freeman and find out who the G-Man is? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Holy fuck. Okay, it's a... Is is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, right, you can't. Well, ask. you're not cave. <laughs> I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry though, we got shot okay. Nothing's different. Nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber. I'll tell you a bit more out there. I'd like to have the fucking door move. Oh, okay, door's moved. What? The fuck? Okay, let's go for a bit of a wonder. I have a couple of questions. Don't for worry you. about the heights. Had a few of my scientists make what's called long fall boots. Uh, I mean, aperture science innovators, long fall boots. <laughs> that was easier to think of than I thought. Okay, so someone touched my body whilst I was sleeping. Freaky bastards. Crazy Harry! Pick that yellow device up. Fuck it, you know, I'll fight. Hazardous. I've had the scientists leave you a new device to help you. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, a new sound. test. Congratulations! Aww, you, you get to test something you else now. Double the experiments for you. Ah, I see Crazy Harry. Ooh, portal gun. Crazy Harry left you for too long, mate. Facing that wall, you've got more to share. We've got the power! We also have a, have a AHPD. C, D, There's an open door nearby. I got Should take you out of the building. Check this shit out, You'll mate. need that new test to move around. Don't worry though, we built the building like this. Uh, yeah, I, I, I believe you. Oh, uh, don't that? worry Sweet. about that. Sweet it's just uh, a new drilling test we're doing down below. Yeah, yeah <laughs> to get the uh, salt mines deeper, to get more testing spheres in. Right, yeah, that's yeah, that's it. That Good. Good. Ignore that. That looks promising. Right, onwards we go, men. Uh. Okay. I can't shoot the wood. Okay, back down we go. Fair enough. Uh, and. Okay, can't. Oh, fine. Oh, back over here we go. Fine, we'll go this way. Could have gone a long way. Don't mind all this, too. We just had uh, earthquakes. Lots of earthquakes. Right, yeah. I'm no geologist. Yeah, you get lots of those here in Michigan. Sure. 
earthquakes don't become this severe underground. I mean, I could I could sound like an absolute tit and an idiot when saying that, but uh. These still? earthquakes uh, even shook up time a bit. Okay, what Some the stuff hell from the I future got actually, here. Like, yeah, I don't mean it's that's how it's here. I don't know if that's uh, don't worry, acting, it's still 1952. Adlai Stevenson what? is still president. But uh, I'm pretty sure you're not Cave Johnson. All right, so the earthquakes uh, kind of did some damage? redecorating in here. Uh, Destroy the door too. Yeah, you'll have to find another way out. I can see that. Oh, hold on a minute. Let me go the fuck over here. Well, I can kind of see that. Oh, hello. I've got to kind of see that I can got to jump and catapult myself somewhere. Quite nowhere. Ah, hang on a minute. Stop yep. sake. Oh, that's very conveniently placed, I must say. Hello. Oh, sorry about that. I know things might look different than what you're used to, uh, but so uh, while you were spending that little time sleeping, we had some some uh, aperture science nanomachines come in and build all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're uh, quick little guys. Faster than any science guy I got. Right, okay, cool. Right, let's go shoot that there just for whatever reason it might be handy. Now, I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions okay. called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. I don't now, know some guy decided that sure it that would be a good idea to make ones that prevent people from going through. Ah, and installed one ah, where people enemies. needed to go through. Aha, right. Crazy Harry didn't explain that, did he? Alright, I'm fine. Um, okay. Wherever we go. Ah, hang on a minute. Um. Right, well, we, oh, hang on a minute. Hello, hello, hello. Trigo, hello. Crazy Harry, you crazy bastard. What the hell am I doing right now? Um, lots of them in. Lots of them and dinging. Not quite sure what I'm doing, to be honest. I'm a bit lost. All I know is I don't go through that, because that's going to fuck me up. Uh, okay, right, hang on a minute. Can I actually get up into There's a platform I noticed earlier. Uh, uh, ba 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 ba. Okay, call me an idiot. I don't know what I'm doing. No, okay. Yeah, I'm clearly missing something big here. Ah! Dickhead, leave her! If you turn the power off, you can easily turn it back on. So that switch that is like the rest of them. The others trip out. I think these switches were designed for two people. Ah, yes. Maybe your uh, new test can help. Over, I ain't fucking working. It's got a zero on it. Well then, um, I'm clearly missing the plot. So I'm hearing something. Nothing's happened. Just a touch, befaddled, because this ain't working. What the fuck? I'm actually pressing E and nothing's happening. I know, I know that I've got to activate them both within a very quick or short period of time, but that's not having it, is it? No, not one bit. Oh, God. Okay. Somewhere I can pop my nose down to. There's water down there, so I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to go down that way. Am I being a monumental fucking tear and missing out in there? I just don't know. I just don't know. Um. Okay. 
Right. Um, I don't mean to dwell and plunder on this for fucking ages, but, uh... Right, that's clearly not working for me. No, clearly not. Oh, ah, hang on. Uh, wait, no, I've turned the power off, haven't I? Ah, you tear. Ah, 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 I got it. Ah. Now I'm thinking with portals. What the hell's all the lasers come out? Ah, I got it. I've turned the fucking power off, hasn't I? If we turn the power back on, what the fuck? Turn Remember, the power back on. You can always turn the power on or off again. Yep, yeah, that's right. But I got portals. They don't need no fucking power, do they? Ha ha ha. Nah, I'm thinking with portals, mate. Right. Hey, hey, hey. Fucking hey. Let's throw a party in this place. Right. Sweet as. Okay. Right, so, with this valve door now opening, I am going to leave this part here. I shall thank you all ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please drop it a like. Um, would be ever so appreciated. Um, I will definitely be doing more of this because I'm hooked on it already. And uh, many more games to come along in the future. So, once again, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next part. Bye-bye.